Howdy ho, y'all! Welcome to Wayne's Weather. As a severe weather outbreak occurred last week, could be experienced another severe weather outbreak in the upcoming days. Also, look at your upcoming snowfall forecast. See if there's any concerning snowstorms on the way. Also, look at the excessive rainfall outlook. See if there's any flooding events that could occur. And also, look at your 6 to 10 day temperature and precipitation outlook. And your near and long term forecast coming up in this video. Now, let's look at the radar here. Looks like much of California is in this winter storm warning from 10 o'clock tonight to 4 o'clock on Monday morning. This is in Pacific time for upwards of 2 to 4 feet above 8,000 feet in elevation. So it looks like in the mountains y'all could be getting a lot of snow and it looks like in the lower elevations y'all probably get about 1 to 2 feet of snow possibly. Like there is, is a winter weather advisory in western Idaho, east central and north central parts of Oregon into Washington and in Montana. Now the winter weather advisory in Montana will go from 3 o'clock in mountain time to this afternoon. We're blowing snow and winds gusting upwards of 60 mile an hour winds. So you have to get out and be careful. Winter weather advisory in Oregon and Washington that will go from 4 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. Upwards of 1 to 3 inches of snow. Looks like out east there's some special weather statements for basically gusty winds and heavy rain. 30 mile an hour winds are possible down there in West Virginia into central Pennsylvania. Basically, the eastern part of the United States is dealing with some heavy rain, and the western part of the United States is dealing with some snow. Take a look at the uh, drought monitor real quick. Like much of the country's in this drought, and the central part of the United States is getting the worst of it. An exceptional drought. In the orange, y'all are in the moderate drought. Out west, y'all are in this exceptional severe drought. Out in Texas as well. My part of the country that's not receiving a drought is really in Wisconsin and parts of Minnesota and parts of the northeast. Patient that look right here in the red. In the brown y'all are gonna be above average as far as temperatures go spanning from the carolinas down to florida all the way over into new mexico here in the white from new mexico all the way into the northeast y'all gonna be normal for temperatures go and here in the blue from wisconsin all the way down into california y'all are gonna be way below normal as far as temperatures go now your 8 to 14 day outlook as far as temperatures go here in the blue from arizona all the way into carolinas in the northeast that for maine y'all gonna be below normal but for maine and florida all the way into new mexico y'all gonna be above average as far as temperatures go now you're precipitation outlook for the next six to ten days here in the green y'all gonna be above average first precip goes here in the dark green y'all gonna be way above normal here in the brown in florida y'all are gonna be way below normal now they 14 day outlook as far as precip goes looks like here in louisiana all the way into georgia into south carolina all the way down to florida y'all gonna be below normal as far as precip goes but here in the green y'all are gonna be above average so that's gonna help out for drought conditions for much of the country all right let's take a look at the winter severity index for the next three days see below these are the travel impacts that you could experience now in california in the purple y'all gonna be experiencing extreme impacts from winter weather here in the yellow y'all gonna be experiencing minor impact in the red y'all could experience moderate to major impact so if you have to get out please be careful and we'll go ahead and take a look at the excessive rainfall outlook for the next three days as well now in california there is a marginal risk this could be due to the snowstorm that's going to happen over there and in arizona there's a marginal risk as well now your day two excessive rainfall outlook there is nothing but for your day three there is a slight risk and here's southern tennessee northern alabama and northern to northeast part of mississippi wrong push this out to 120 hours out. It's like over four inches of rainfall is expected. Down here below is your, your rain totals that you could expect. Now it looks like spending from Oklahoma all the way over into eastern Tennessee into western Virginia. Y'all could see upwards of two to four inches of additional rainfall. That's why they issued the slight risk because rainfall over here in southern Tennessee and northern Alabama and northern Mississippi because y'all could see upwards of four inches of rain. Now over here in California there's about four inches of rain as well but that's due to the big snowstorm that's happening over there. Well, let's look at your severe weather outlook for the next Next three days. Day one outlook, there's just a general thunderstorm outlook here in the green from eastern Georgia all the way into the Carolinas and then eastern Louisiana all the way up into Alabama, Arizona, and a little part of California here. Your day two outlook is in southern Arizona into southwest New Mexico and northwest California into a little sliver of Oregon. Y'all are just under a general thunderstorm outlook. Your day three, really not much going on in severe weather side of things. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the weather models. See what upcoming winter storms you could expect. I mean, if there is any severe weather on the way. Forecast models here. I'm looking at the 500 millibar jet stream. We could be in this zonal pattern for a while up until an upper level trough comes down by the 10th, pushes east into the 12th, the Ohio Valley. This could possibly bring some severe weather into Texas, Oklahoma by the 10th, by 8 o'clock at night. What's going to happen? It's like it could be some severe weather on the way 
as we head towards the middle of the month and possible snow showers on the northern side of that. Looks like we could be dealing with a couple disturbances as we head towards the middle of the month. By the end of the month, looks like it's going to be calming down again. All right, let's look at the simulated radar here. Start off at about 1 o'clock on Saturday. Looks like the snowstorm's starting to get started out west in, in California. Looks like a major snowstorm up here in eastern Canada. A major washout in the northeast part of the country. Down south, got some scattered showers. Monday, still dealing with some snow showers. That major snowstorm happening up into Monday over here in California, dumping upwards of two to four feet in the upper elevations, about one to three feet in the lower elevations. Now, looks like that major flooding event's going to be occurring starting off at eight o'clock on Monday. It's where that slight risk for excessive rainfall is for about four inches of rain. Like it's going to last all the way into Wednesday. Still dealing with the rain showers up here in the northeast part of the country. Possible snow showers over here in Utah and Colorado down into Arizona on Wednesday I'm on the 7th. Still dealing with rain showers down south from Texas all the way into Kentucky and down into Alabama. Dealing with snow showers up in Michigan. Thursday at 1 o'clock, heavy snow showers spanning from central Washington all the way down into northwest California. This could possibly be a big snowstorm in Michigan. I'm dealing with heavy rain and the green here from Indiana all the way down into Virginia. There could be a major snowstorm. Now this is pretty concerning. This could change. This is about 186 hours out. The models are indicating could be a major snowstorm on the 11th in Minnesota all the way down into Wisconsin and of course in Washington all the way down into California and into Idaho in eastern Oregon. Y'all could be getting a possible blizzard all the way into Monday morning. It looks like a pretty quick mover. Pretty big storm system though. This storm system goes all the way up and from Minnesota all the way down into Louisiana. There could be some severe weather along with this as well on the southern side of this. The end of the month looks like it's Starting to get quiet for the central part of the country, but the northeast part of the country, there could be some major snowstorms to worry about as well. Out west, y'all still dealing with some snowstorms. It's good for the ski slopes though. If you're a ski lover out there, enjoy uh, skiing with your family. Florida's dealing with some rain showers by the end of the month. Let's look at your temperatures. All right, starting off one o'clock on Saturday. Look, like this cold snap's gonna last for a while. We are in December. Like down in the south, you are dealing with some nice temperatures. We could be experiencing a major cool off before experiencing a major warm up by the middle of the month. Deep south, y'all been getting some nice days in December. Northwest part of the country in the low west, y'all been dealing with some frigid temperatures. Now temperatures are down here, by the way, for reference. Now it looks like by the 9th will be pretty nice weather on the way for the Ohio Valley area. I'll be getting some uh, 70 degree temperatures, unseasonably warm temperatures out in the eastern part of the country until a major cold snap sets in as we wrap up December. And I want to show you the climate forecast model. I want to give you a sneak peek at what your Christmas forecast could possibly look like. All right, let's look at your Christmas uh, forecast here. Now this is 500 some hours out, so this probably won't happen. This is kind of la la lane in the forecast model world. But just for kicks and giggles, we're going to look at it anyways. Now, 8 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve morning, as you get up out of bed and you head to your family dinners, you could be some getting some snow showers in western Indiana, all the way into Illinois, snow showers in northwest part of Iowa, southern Minnesota, eastern parts of South Dakota, western Nebraska, southeast Wyoming, and north East Colorado. Now as we push this forward into 8 o'clock Christmas Eve night, kids are going to be getting excited for Santa Claus. Santa Claus is going to be coming to town. He's going to be coming down your chimneys. You better not have the, the hooker waiting for Santa Claus like some of those Christmas songs say. Uh, seeing, seeing mama kissing Santa Claus that night or whatever. That one Christmas song says. Santa baby. So you better hide your wives if you're uh, if you have a wife or girlfriend or whatever. Santa Claus is gonna be coming to town. You don't want your wife going after that Santa Claus. But the kids are gonna be getting excited regardless. It looks like we're getting some snow from central to northern Indiana, all the way to southern Michigan and to Wisconsin. And the Rocky Mountain states are getting some snow as well. Rain down in eastern Texas. And looks like eight o'clock in the morning on Christmas Day. Kiddos be getting up. They'll be seeing what they got from Santa Claus. They could possibly see some uh, coal. If you've been a good kid, you'll be getting some presents. If you've been a bad kid, you'll be getting some coal. But coal's not a bad thing. I mean, you got a grill? Put that coal on the grill. Put the rest of the charcoal with it as well. Fire that grill up and have some food. If Santa gave you a gift of coal. Put that coal to use. Like uh, Cousin Eddie says, it's a gift that keeps on giving the whole year. Grill of coal's not a bad thing. Don't be ashamed of the coal. But as we get to Christmas Day night, kids are kind of depressed because Christmas is over, but they're enjoying those toys and they'll be grateful for that coal if you've been naughty. Your belly will be full, be getting fed. That'll be your Christmas forecast there. Probably 
Not going to happen because it's 500 some hours out, but it's fun to look at those long-term models. Let's look at the temperatures for Christmas as well here. 8 o'clock in the morning, looks like you could be dealing with some uh, single-digit temperatures, possibly, from eastern Montana on Christmas Eve morning all the way out into Michigan with some teen temperatures from Idaho all the way down into Kansas, all the way up into the northeast states. And as we push this off into Christmas Eve night and with some... Uh, below freezing temperatures and from Montana all the way down to Nebraska all the way up into Wisconsin and Michigan with some teen temperatures all the way here from the northeast states all the way into Idaho. As you wake up on Christmas Day morning it's gonna be really frigid out. Santa Claus better pack some multiple layers with him it's gonna be really frigid in the plains. He's gonna be sweating his butt off as he gets into California. As you get up on Christmas Day morning looks like y'all could be dealing with some really below freezing temperatures in Montana. Negative 20 degrees possibly 30 negative 30 almost and that's Goes all the way down into Kansas, almost into Oklahoma. Single digit temperatures in Indiana, taking temperatures in Pennsylvania, negative temperatures in part of the country here. Now, as we get into Christmas Day night, still dealing with those cold temperatures. Looks like this cold snap's gonna last for a while. So as you're unwrapping those gifts and your parents are throwing them outside and that they have the little, little trash bag with them, now put the put the gift in. Put the gift in there. Right after you unwrap, they're gonna be throwing them outside, tossing them out, and then they're, they're gonna be freezing their butts off as they do it. All right, let's look at the snow totals. We're going to use the GFS first. This will go out to the middle of the month. Push this into Monday. This is when the snowstorm sort of tapers off for California. Y'all could possibly see upwards of 37 inches of snow in eastern uh, California. That's a lot of snow. That's in the upper elevations as well. Looks like ski slopes going to be getting some snow. So go enjoy your game with your family. Like uh, additional snow in uh, Arizona, 5 to 10 possibly. Possibly even more than that. Michigan, y'all be getting about 3 to 6. Oh, this... Global forecast system is hinting at a major snowstorm hitting the northern plains by the 12th around 1 o'clock. About foot to two, one to two feet of snow possible. Anything could change as this is about 200 and some hours out. This is forward again. Looks like the north northeast is going to be getting some snow. Looks like southern plains into the Ohio Valley. Y'all could be getting some snow as well. Five to ten inches by the 19th. Now this is all the way maxed out to 384 hours out. As far as the GFS will go, anything could change and will. Just like the Christmas forecast, anything can change and will. Now we'll keep y'all updated. Now we'll go use the Canadian model. Looks like by Monday, looks like still about 31 inches in the higher elevations. About five to ten inches in the lower. About a foot or so. I, I I'd say about a foot in lower elevation, two to four feet in the higher. It looks like a Canadian model's hitting at a major snowstorm as well. Five to ten, possibly more for northern Illinois into eastern Iowa into the central plains. You know, begin a major snowstorm by the middle of the month. Now is the Euro model showing the same thing? Of course, all the models are saying two to four feet in the higher elevations. Just like what the winter storm warning said. So, in yeah, have to get out. Please be careful. It's like by the 12th. Really not showing the snowstorm. Wisconsin's going to be getting that snowstorm. Looks like it pushed it more north. Like in Colorado, ski slopes, you're getting about 6 to 12 inches of snow, I'd say. Getting about 56 inches of snow in Washington. Northeast part of the country, about 2 to 4. This goes all the way towards the end of the month. Now let's look at the National Resource Blend of Models. This pushes it out to the 12th. Now this is... A conservative model so it's paying about two to four inches so it is definitely hinting out a major snowstorm for the uh, midwest part of the country into the northern plains i will keep you all updated on on this if there is any changes so that'll do it for this video sum it up basically uh, if there's a major winter storm out west i'll wreak havoc across california upwards of two to four feet in higher elevations one to two feet in the lower elevation if you have to get out please be careful it's another major winter storm that could impact the northern plains and the midwest i uh, will keep an eye on that if any changes happen there will be a major warm-up on the way as we head towards the end of december and there could be some severe weather down in texas so please be on the lookout for that and i will keep you all updated on the williams weather facebook page so if you like the video please give it a like helps the youtube channel out comment below don't forget to subscribe share this video so others can see it See y'all in the next one. Never stop forecasting.